this is Jennifer Hensel of the Connect Now Network. I'm so excited we now have Staples as a sponsor. What this means for you is that when you become a member, you will receive a discount code that you can use for Staples print and copy centers across Canada. Many people have asked me how to upload their print orders, and so that's what I want to show you today. The first thing we'll do is come here to staplescopyandprint.ca. If you need to sign up for a new account, which is free, you can click here for sign up under new user. Once you get your username and login, enter it here to sign into the site. Now on this page, under File Submission, we will click here. Scroll down a bit, click Get Started. And on this page, we'll click Upload a Document. And now we're ready to select our files for upload. Navigate to where you know the file is saved. Click your file, Open. I'm going to upload our monthly print newsletter. And you can see here that the file will start uploading. It will tell you the percentage of how far along it is. While we're waiting for it to upload, click here to confirm that you own the copyright for your material. And we're going to wait until this is fully uploaded 100%. And now you can see the file has completely uploaded, indicated here. And click Create. On this screen, you can take a look at your file and make sure it uploaded properly. In this case, although the file has color in it, I want to choose double-sided black and white. Now make sure you don't choose rich black because that's just like paying for color. So you don't want that. If you want a black and white copy, just choose either the single-sided black and white or double-sided black and white. Now in addition to that, you can choose the type of paper that you want. If you want colored paper, some kind of cover stock, or any other specific type of paper. In this case, we're just going to be using the regular paper. I also highly recommend clicking in this area below. If you want stapling, folding, anything like that, put those notes in here. Now for this project in particular, it's a four page newsletter printed on 11 by 17. And so I put that in the notes, the more information you can provide, the better. It helps the people in the print center to know what you really want because someone could interpret this document as a four page document. They could just think that I want four double sided pages. But what I really want is the four pages to be printed on an 11 by 17 larger piece and then folded in half so that page one is on the front page two and three are on the inside, and then page four is on the back. And so I just detail that in the notes here so that they know exactly what I'm looking for. The next thing we need to do is choose our quantities. Now, before I do that, take a look at the price over here. Right now for this four page document, it is 156. So something has gone wrong over here. Let's just take a look at pages again. It went back to color. So you just always have to double check that you definitely have it set on double sided black and white. So that's good that you can see that in action, something happening there. So right now it says 40 cents per copy, but if I put in quantity of say 30, the price goes down. Now I just need 10 copies right now. I just wanted to show you that the pricing can change depending on the volume. And just a note that the pricing when you pick it up may be different. It could be slightly more, slightly less. Sometimes it's been a lot less when I've picked it up and especially your discount code will get you a discount on your printing. Don't forget to use that. This pricing gives you an idea of what it's going to come out at. And definitely you can print off your order confirmation at the end if you do want to stick to the pricing that the system here online has given you. So what we're going to do next after we've chosen our quantities, we make sure all the settings are set up properly, we're going to add to cart. That brings us to this page. Scroll down and you can see your order. Double check that everything is okay. Now click continue. Now, before we click continue on this page, make sure you've chosen pay at pickup, continue, and then scroll down, double check your order one final time and place order. Your order has been placed and you can print a confirmation if you like. I've done this many times and so it didn't give me the option of which store to send it to. The system knows which store I like it to be sent to. It will give you an option of which store to choose if it's your first time. So make sure that you choose the Staples store in your location. The print and copy discount mentioned in this video is provided to members through the partner discount program between Staples and the Connect Now Business Network. If you are interested in the Staples discount along with many other membership perks, you can get it by joining the Connect Now Network through our website at connectnownetwork.com. If you have any questions about our membership, please feel free to contact me through the website. My name is Jennifer Hensel, 
founder of the Connect Now Network. Thank you for watching.